Right now, the number of confirmed cases totals roughly 700,000. Oh my god, I don't care! Deaths. The four walls of this 150 square foot room make up my own personal hell. For the past 26 days, I've existed entirely in this room. Why leave? I have everything I need. A bathroom, entertainment, snacks, all the basic human rights. At first, I thought quarantine would be a blast. Maybe I'd pick up an instrument or start some new exercise routine. But without people to talk to, I'm paralyzed. Boredom is a prison, and I'm on death row. Some of my favorite coronavirus activities include rearranging my room three times a week. I don't have a lot of furniture, so I pretty much settle in the same configuration every time. Starting a new book and never picking it up again, and crying to lo-fi music while I think about my friends from school. Currently, I'm scrolling through my Instagram feed for the 17th time this hour. I've liked every post and seen every quarantine selfie that my highly original peers have posted. But still, vigilantly, I scroll on. I need this to end. If the government doesn't let me out of the house soon, I'm breaking out. We've just come upon one of the rare exceptions to the never leaving this room clause. I need more snacks. God, the pantry's so far away. And I'm really enjoying this particular scroll. But I really love pretzels. Snyder's, you've done it again. Ugh, we're running low on snacks. Again. You just took the last bag, sweetheart. Mom, I asked you to buy more. There's nothing to eat. Why don't you have some raisins? We still have a bunch left over. Raisins. Ugh. The bane of my existence. If you eat raisins plain, by themselves, straight out of the container, you're a psychopath, and I encourage you to arrange a session with a therapist. Mom, there's a reason we have so many left over. <gasps> Something's happening! for Anna Scott. Hi, this is she. Wait a minute, Mrs. Fredrickson, is that you? Hi, yes, it's me. It's so great to hear from you. How are you doing? The world's kind of a mess right now, huh? Not too great, if I'm being honest. I completely understand where you're coming from. I'm so bored right now. What can I do for you? Um, well, Daniel, my husband, he died this morning. Oh my god, Mrs. Fredrickson, I'm so sorry. Yes, thank you. I was calling to see if you could play taps at his funeral on Monday morning. Daniel was in Vietnam, as you know, and, well, the virus shouldn't stop him from having a bugler. Yeah, no, of course, absolutely. When is this happening? It's on Monday morning at 11 o'clock in Westwood, the cemetery across from the Baptist Church. We aren't allowed to have a service because of the virus, so there won't be many people there. Thank you so much, you. You'll never know how much I appreciate this. It's an honor, Mrs. Fredrickson. Your husband? He was an amazing man. Yes, he was. I'm going to hang up now. Okay. I'll see you Monday. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Fredrickson. Thank you. Goodbye. <sighs> Fuck. It's been a long time since I played a funeral. I'm rusty. responsible for playing the last notes on people's lives. 
the final piece of music that touches their ears before being put in the ground. It's an honor, but it's a lot of pressure. Excuse me? Whoa, whoa, six feet there, miss. Right, sorry. I don't sweat it. You here for a funeral? Yeah. What's the last name? Uh, Fredrickson? It's up there. That woman is at the top of the ridge. Thanks, but where is everyone else? Well, you know, in the world we're in today, we're not allowing any large gatherings. I guess she really took that to heart. No priest either? There's so many funerals, they can't keep up. I'm sorry, I gotta run, I gotta get this truck around. You have a good day. Yeah, thanks. People are dying every day. It's hard to look at the big numbers on the news and really understand that, but they are. And it's a big deal. Funeral homes are overrun. The last notes on people's lives are being glanced over and they're being rushed into the ground. Their entire lives, years and years of laughing, loving and living, millions of memories and experiences, all gone. Stop complaining about how bored you are and stop breaking those rules. If you can't stay inside to save your own life, do it for somebody else's. Because right now, it's a terrible time to die.